Namaste, everyone. This is the age of Aquarius. There's a dawning happening right now as we speak. We have just passed Ash Wednesday and on the 17th of this particular month, there has been some fantastic energy coming down. Isn't it awesome to be a light worker on the planet at this time? Isn't it awesome to be responsible for our frequency and vibration? Isn't it awesome to be an alchemist? I'm gonna tell you that we have some exciting news at the Hope Interface Center. We are gonna be doing another summit and it is called the Turquoise Table um, Talk Summit. And we have fabulous, fabulous speakers that will be on with us. And why are we doing this? Well, I happen to read a book. As many of you know, I read a lot of books. I wrote about, read a book called The Turquoise Table. And it was about a woman named Kristen Schell, who indeed in her ordinary way, set out a ordinary picnic table, put it on her front yard, and then she had the um, fermentation of an idea of bringing forth turquoise on that table. So she went out and got paint, painted it turquoise, and then from there on, she decided that she was going to invite people, neighbors, friends, strangers, to come and sit at that table around four o'clock in the afternoon, where they would have true, pure hospitality, where they would be able to share their innermost feelings and their deepest desires and visions. Well, I was intrigued by this. And as I continued to read, right now, here's this ordinary woman who took an ordinary picnic table, put it out on her front yard, painted it turquoise. Those turquoise tables now are all across our nation. In all 50 states, there is the turquoise table out on lawns. There's also in 11 countries, this was contagious in 11 countries, they now have the turquoise table phenomenon that is going on. And why do they do this is because collectively we are better together than if we are just one person upon the planet creating our visions and dreams and truths. And so I just taught a class a little bit about alchemy, and I think I gave them five points, but I'm going to give you four points. How to become an alchemist. Number one, have a vision. Number two, have the energy of fermentation. And fermentation is meeting, seeing, listening to exciting speakers that are coming forth upon this planet, having exciting friends with enthusiasm. And it begins to create a fermentation around that vision, telling you, you are great, you are magnificent, and you are worthy, and you can do anything. That's called fermentation. The third point in being an alchemist is distillation, to distill, to distill those energy frequencies that do not serve you any longer. And sometimes those frequencies can be friends. Sometimes those frequencies can be an old job. Sometimes those frequency can be indeed old teachers or it can be indeed spouses. And it isn't that you are um, being nasty or indeed judging. It means that you are an alchemist and you have a vision and you are welcoming in fermentation and you have decided to even take the stinking thinking uh, thoughts of your mind or emotions from your heart and do a distillation process. Number four is called collaboration or co-creation or uh, coming up with this fantastic new energy that we can do this together better than if we were doing it all alone. And that's why I decided to have a turquoise table summit on March 20th, which is the spring equinox. It's all about uh, digging in the dirt. It's all about new beginnings. It's all about new starting. It's all about new visions. And also then on March 21st. So we do hope that you can join us. You're going to find some contagious speakers talking about encouraging you and encouraging all of us to become an alchemist. And so the price we keep very, very low. The early bird price is $40. Now, 
The reason why we do this at the Hope Interface Center is to make sure that everyone has an opportunity to come together to meet gigantic, enormous, genius speakers, helpers, and are so heart-centered that they will help you create that vision, become fermented with energy of yeast to have you rise, 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 rise. And then to also help us understand the distillation process and then also to collaborate and come together in the union of oneness. I'm gonna tell you those um, women who are going to be speaking and I'll tell you a little bit more about them on our next little brief uh, teaching. One of them is Rebecca Fabomi. I call her my beautiful black woman friend who is here and reminds me of Amanda Gorman in so many ways, the young woman who stood up proud and black and uh, brought forth the energy of a speech that was so filled with uh, dynamite information. I felt fermentation when I was listening to Amanda Gorman and you will feel fermentation when you listen to Rebecca follow me. The next speaker that we will be having is called Selena Matreya. Many of you already know her. She's from out east. She's been a friend of mine for a very long time as well as a student. And she became dedicated for a very long time to be a spiritual teacher. Uh, she's intuitive. She teaches everyday practical spirituality and how that comes out within us. Jean Keenan is a local person here in Mankato. She is the director of a very wonderful organization that helps displace homemakers. So she's gonna be talking about integrity and what that means. There's also Kathy Brennan. Kathy Brennan is a woman who is going to speak to all of us about how she overcame depression. There has been an epidemic right now, especially among our young women who have depression. And so she's going to tell you some intimate details about her life so she can help all of us uh, regroup, regather, do distillation and have cooperation to remove that of which we are not and to come forward of which we are. The other person that we're gonna have is um, Christine Scott. She is also an intuitive, she is an oracle, she comes here from the higher dimensions, which means she is a woman that from the very get-go, she started receiving information and guidance from angels and guides and holy ones. And she will help us uh, understand how to be an alchemist as well. And an alchemist is not of the old way. The alchemist is the new alchemist that we are here to bring forth the age of Aquarius. Remember those four steps. Vision, you have to have a vision to be an alchemist. I have a vision, join me. Imagination is also part of that. Fermentation, to get fermented, to move forth and to be excited about what is yet to come. The next one is distillation of letting go of old patterns, old thoughts that do not serve you any longer. And the fourth one is coagulation, which means cooperation. Coagulating means coming into alignment with your dreams, with your frequency, with the truth of who you are. The early bird special is $40, just $40. And after that, then the regular price is $55, $40. $40 well spent on learning how to be an alchemist and changing your whole entire life. As always, I thank you for joining me. I hope you come on board on March 20th and 21st. Even if those days are um, gone for you, it's all going to be recorded to have you listen to these fantastic speakers. And we'll tell you more as the days and weeks go on until March 20th. Until then, stay warm. I love you all. God bless.